Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. As always, we bring you tech reviews, tips, and tutorials to help you live life smarter. This right here is the HP Omen Sequencer Gaming Keyboard, coming for around $140. A little expensive, there are a few things which I like about it, so I thought why not share my impressions with you guys, but right after this intro. <laughs> Welcome back. So a few things I like and some I don't. First, the build and construction of this keyboard. It is a solid build for sure. It's a full size keyboard made of aluminium with solid all rounded deck to support the keys. It's pretty heavy for its weight, especially the base. It sits quite firmly on the table. It's pretty strong. You've got those rubber pads at the bottom so they won't let the keyboard slip away at the time when you're having your action moments. It's a good thing for some and it's not a good thing for some, especially if you're looking for something lighter. You want something to fit in your bag and you can carry it around. This is certainly not made for all of that. So now to connect, you have two USB connectors along with a thick solid braided cable, one of which is a USB pass-through. So you can plug in any USB device right here on the back of your USB keyboard and access it from your laptop or PC. Now we have a whole set of programmable keys right here. These can be used for your macros and whatnot. You can access them from Omen Command Center. We also have the red metal spinning bar right here, which is from volume, along with the mute button that's gonna just mute down the sound. Uh, it's a little too much happening on this keyboard along its edges and the whole shape is a little too big and massive. It's good in a way. I mean, it has its own personality, so to speak, this keyboard. And I don't mind that. I mean, if you have that bulky, massive gaming look that you want on your table, this is certainly something that's gonna be fitting in there quite nicely. It has these optical mechanical keys with Alke Blue Knight switches. These are not the actual MX Blue switches, but kind of like the same. These have good travel distance and a pretty decent sound to them. Now, if you get rid of this extended space bar and keep it to a normal size, and then you also have these cursor keys, which if moved to their original position, you'll probably be cutting down about an inch of this keyboard from the bottom, which is an extra area. The same thing with the top, where you have this volume bar. If you don't have this part right here, it'll be a pretty compact keyboard than what it is. As I mentioned, these are light switches, so keystrokes are sent via light, which is super fast, so you have anti-ghosting and key rollover with no skips during gameplay. Gaming is spot on these keys overall feel lighter and easy to click not too soft for accidental presses but just about right so overall it feels both premium and robust now the keyboard has full rgb animations static lights and this can all be adjusted to your liking using the omen command center so you can even create your own zones of keys and give them colors so yeah, cool, fully customizable keyboard. You can also program these keys, have your macros and whatnot. Well, yes, on the top right, above the numpad, you also have the media keys and you can raise the height as well as I've done that on this keyboard. So really everything you need to have in your fully customizable keyboard is there in it. And I don't see much going wrong with it. However, my concern is with the price. It's coming for around $139 on Amazon right now. And in a price lesser than that, you can even get a keyboard with actual MX Blue switches and which is slightly more compact as well, if that's what you're looking for. However, this is everything that I thought was important to share with you guys regarding the HP Omen Sequencer keyboard. If you like what you see and if you like what you hear, go hit that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys soon with another one. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.